I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Don't touch the dress, Nikki. You're gonna get isekai. I know more than you. I've done this before. It's Aina in English? She got isekai within our isekai. Did we have makeup last time? Oh my god, it's the wish system. That, that's why it's new. We didn't get this. Well, hello, friends and gamers. We're already off to a great start. We are playing the Infinity Nikki reunion playtest today. We did get in, and we're already off to a great start. Because if you remember anything from the previous playtest, I had a lot of issues with it, so much so that I actually did not even really get past the first hour of the game because it just would not, for the life of my PC, run on my PC. And I was very concerned going into this playtest, especially because the week leading up to me leaving for DreamHack, I had four different games basically just blow up my PC to the point where I could not play like a damn thing. Already, there's so many, like my model, look at her, she's moving. There's no issues so far. They've added so many uh, things, but first of all, I've already changed audio a little bit. We, I have voice pretty high compared to everything else just because last time I remember voice being pretty low and that's usually the standard, at least for how I like to experience my games. The voice is usually pretty low, but speaking of that voice, we actually have multiple different voiceovers now, which is also new to this playtest. I knew nothing going into this just because I really didn't look into any dev posts or anything going into this playtest just because I was in Atlanta. I was not here. So like I got test qualifications, I believe while I was in my hotel room. So yeah, I did have some issues opening the game. We'll get to that in a second. But so far I like I, I take back anything bad I was gonna say because I'm like just so impressed. Last time we only had Chinese voice. We do have the option between Japanese and English this time. I think we'll start with English. We might switch over to Japanese for a short period as well, just to see what it's like, because we did not get to see that in the initial playtest back a couple months ago, I think. No, whatever. But graphics, we have so many options. I'm going to go for balanced, I think, right off the bat, which will bring us up like right below. It's like medium. So yeah, I think we'll start this way. And if we start having any like screen issues, we'll fix it. But so far, I'm thoroughly impressed with everything. Actually, this like the previous playtest version of the game that I played was nearly unplayable for the PC I was running. And I was not on like the low end of the required specs. Was I on the high end of the recommended specs either? Probably not, but I was somewhere in the middle gearing more towards high end and I could not run this thing for my life. So the fact that already it runs, it's great. I actually didn't have as many problems logging in. Logging in was actually quite easy this time around, but I'm thoroughly impressed already. I will say though, I did download the playtest client earlier today, so we were, it was all ready to go. I knew I would have to compile shaders and everything later. I just didn't have time to do it earlier, so whatever. It's whatever. But I did download the client and it was nowhere to be found in my PC by the time I went to play it this evening. So <laughs> I had to re-download it, but it was already downloaded technically. Um, so I there was, it didn't create a shortcut. The start menu shortcut it created didn't work. So I don't know what's up with that. But the quick fix for that, if you do have playtest access and are trying to reaccess the game afterwards, my quick fix is go to the website for the place, the playtest installation that you initially get, click download. It will tell you, you already have this downloaded. Do you sure you want to run this download launcher thing? Say yes. It'll load in really quickly. It'll take you to that first pop-up and then you can run the game from there. That's just what I did. If they fix it, they fix it. If not, that is the quick fix I found and it actually works quite well. It doesn't re-download anything. I actually even overrided the, like I saved the launcher itself to, back to the original location I downloaded it. Like I overrided the save. But that being said, you probably could just like don't delete the launcher files once you download them, keep them. And if you have to open it that way, do it. I just, that's how I got around it. And that's how I will continue to get around it because I am already of the opinion and seeing that we will be able to get, we will get to play this quite a few times. So let us begin. Enter Mirrorland. I think I have to click here. Yeah, yay. It's gonna download. It's gonna download a little bit, but I'm very excited to play through the beginning of the game without having too many issues. Initially, I was going to cut out the story from this section of the video because we already did it. But because we have a new voiceover language, we will not. I am curious how they went about getting the English recorded though, because for those of you who don't know, voice actors are still under a strike for video games in the United States. So I'm curious how they actually got that. If they struck some sort of interim agreement, fingers crossed on that. If not, it also is highly possible that they had this English VA work recorded before the strike began and just had it sitting there. So. This cutscene actually works! Oh my gosh! Just be careful. I do like Nikki's English VA. It's fitting for her, I feel like. Really though, 
What I have on right now is great. No, Momo as well. Momo as well. I don't even have a date. For the, if you're new here, by the way, uh, I'm a longtime Nikki franchise player. <laughs> I didn't play Shiny Nikki, but I was absolutely obsessed with Love Nikki for a couple years. So, yeah, I'm actually thinking about playing Shiny Nikki before uh, Infinity Nikki releases for that specific reason that I haven't played it. I also am a, a high key love and deep space enjoyer. Hi. The, the cutscene itself even looks better. The fact that it just runs in general has me highly impressed because it did not run properly last time. I can tell they also did some like more post processy type of stuff as well to make it look better and it, it looks nice. I don't even know if it was this widescreen. I, ah, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. This is a finished game. Not finished, finished, but like this, you could tell me this is a finished game and I would believe you. Before last playtest, I would not believe you. I'm so thoroughly impressed. Oh my gosh. Don't touch the dress, Nikki. You're gonna get isekai Nikki, you're gonna get isekai <laughs> She touches the dress anyways. <laughs> I'm so excited now. I was like nervous going into this because of last time, but I'm so excited now. I think I got the volume pretty good too. Like certain parts are a little loud like here, but it, it is what it is. I can lower uh, sound effect volume, but I think voice, I did good job. I did a good job of voice. Bye, Momo. <laughs> we'll see Momo again later. I'm curious though to see the, the actual gameplay and like movement, because I was having issues with that last time too, but oh my gosh, we might even be able to go up on graphics a little bit. That would be so cool. Also, um, I uh, am thinking I might need to move my model over a little bit because I uh, think, Mama, okay? oh my God, wait. The frames, okay, see, now the frames are getting weird. Now the frames are getting weird and my model's getting weird. We're gonna have to fix it. Took us to a strange place. We'll, we'll fix it in a second. Don't worry about it. Special powers? My poor model! Pay no attention, pay no attention. Ooh. You possess the threads of reunion. Come to me. I feel like I know who, who's voicing that. Obviously, I will say it in a second once my model isn't glitching. Or we could say it now. My model's glitching, but it is what it is. Even if I have a hunch on who the voice actor for a certain character in a game is, I do not say who I think it is on camera. Just reiterating it here because NDAs are weird, embargoes are weird. I've been under them myself. I don't want to break anyone's NDA or something because I say who I think the VA is and people go t tell the VA who the they think the VA is. I will say I think I know who it is, but I will not say the actual person who I think it is. Just so we're all on the same page. Find the exit by moving, rotate the field. I just wanna, there we go. Okay, cool. Vertical sync, see now we're okay. What if I turn V-Sync off maybe? We're just gonna play around with some stuff right now. Let's try that. No, that's not gonna be it. I will say my CPU isn't capping super high, but we're, we're still having some issues. What if I go 45 FPS? Oh, that actually kind of fixed it. Hold on. Oh, okay. 45 kind of did it. 60, 60 frames felt like higher. Does this make sense? When I had 60 frames on, it felt like it was like 120 or something. So I'm okay with 45, especially because this is something very cinematic. 45 is closer, I feel like. Well, it's not, I don't know. I was going to say it's closer to it, the like cinema frames, but cinema frames are 24. So it's, it, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Model head check, model head check. Okay. She's good. She's good. We're, we're, we're clear. We're in the clear. All right. So press the middle mouse button to reset the view. Got it. Yeah. I know more than you. I've done this before. It's been a minute though. Boop, 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 boop. That's what they wanted me to do. They wanted me to change it. My ping is in the yellow. Oh, it's in the green. Okay. We got to, if I, if you see me like moving my head back and forth, it's, that's how I check if my model's working properly while I'm recording. Um, just if I do, if you see me to keep doing that. I'm actually going to turn anti-aliasing down a little bit, I think. Yeah, that might do it. That might do it. Oh, I'm also trying motion blur. I'll keep glow on motion blur comes off just because that's like a personal thing. Oh, yeah, I can see the now that I've turned the anti-aliasing down, it does look different, um, but it's still playable, I would say. I would say that. Model check, model check. She's good. Okay, I think we can continue like this. I am still having some issues with like the game feeling glitchy, though, so I don't know. Do we just go down to 30 frames? Because then 30, maybe it does need to be 60. We'll just play on 60 then. It's still a little glitchy, but this is a definitely a huge improvement from last time. And we also have to remember, I need to upgrade my PC. So I'm running a 3000 series graphics card. I need to upgrade to a 4000 at this point. It just is what it is. I don't want to think about the possibility of 5000 series. We're not going to talk about it. Anyways, jumping. Oh, see, I'm still having those glitches. 
I will say, though, the model is doing better and my, like, OBS is doing better this time, but, like, the gameplay is still a little glitchy. I could bump down the graphics even more, but I'd rather not. So it is what it is. Let's see these cutscenes. How are we? Model check, model check. Model's working okay. Okay, okay. Let's get... I don't... That's the recap. Okay, I love that they have a recap already because a lot of gacha games don't have that dialogue recap. And as a lore enjoyer, we love a recap. We're stuck. I frequently rely on the recap to like analyze parts of the story <laughs> while we're doing this. I won't be doing that fully here just because it is more of a playtest, but yeah, the flying dress. Oh my God. I still have, <laughs> y'all are going to laugh at me, but I still have my wristbands on from DreamHack because I can't get them off myself. I need to like go have like my dad take them off or something. I can't pull them off. I We've talked about this. I don't have upper body strength, but also they're super long and I just have really, I have tiny wrists. So like there's just so much like runoff ribbon and it's like getting in the way of my mouse. <laughs> y'all are going to laugh at me and honestly, I, I don't blame you. Got it. So we do a boop, boop. We're frozen a little bit. We're frozen a little bit. We're frozen a little bit. We did it. I feel so lucky. Yeah, my ping went up to 90. So this is a whim. Is it better than before? Yes. But is it perfect? Absolutely not. But it runs. That's the thing. It's still not perfect. I would say, if anything, honestly, though, if anything, I still have some issues graphically with Zenless Zone Zero. So, I mean, this is fine. So we can do... I am skipping the these a little bit. So press and hold to jump higher. Okay, I see how they do that. Is there, there is a little like navigation circle or whatever you want to call it. How specifically do you do it though? I guess you just kind of have to figure out the timing. I feel like it's probably a movement thing that you get over time as you play the game more. I also think in audio, I could actually bump up the music a little bit and sound effects probably need to go down. I'm very interested in the mastering they've done on this audio just because usually music is so super loud. Sound effects are not as loud as music, but still pretty loud and voice is like very quiet, but I feel like the mastering they've kind of gotten it. Watch for overhead obstacles and leave space for a smoother. Okay, got it. We'll figure that out. So how the hecky? They've added this little like aiming thing and I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, well, you get it's definitely a movement thing you kind of got to get used to. I feel like they changed the jumping, jumping and gliding system a little bit, though. And I don't know necessarily if I like the changes. I feel like it's a little bit funky now. Yeah, no, she's not. Nikki is not having a good time right now. We got to change something. I'm actually going to bump it down to. Yeah, see, it recommends me on ultra, but I don't even want to see what. Let's go smooth, I think, because I'd rather have higher frames, quite frankly. It really wants me on that DLSS. Let's just give it a shot and see what's up. Oh, it actually doesn't look half bad. Huh. I thought it was going to look horrible. No, it looks fine. All right. There's our little guy. Nikki, a monster. <laughs> oh, my. That is an Esling. From dark I do think one thing they removed, or maybe it's just not in the English voiceover, is the narration of the tutorial tips. And I hated that in the last playtest. It was just too much. I was so over... Like this, before, they would narrate it. They'd have someone narrating this dialogue. And even if you closed out the um, tutorial tips, it would still keep going i got so overstimulated so quickly it was bad and i think they took it out and i'm really appreciative that they took it out because i feel like i can play for longer if i'm not overstimulated obviously and it was just kind of annoying but you know what infinity nikki wasn't the only game to do that recently you know who also did that throne in liberty i'm playing that next <laughs> i'm like not paying attention to the tutorial i probably should be but it's left click i believe i did a right click i literally whoop that's our kind of attack kind of not it's an attack in the way that Nickelodeon can't say the word kill on air, you know? <laughs> the exorcism dress, let's call it that, all right? They don't die, they just get exercised and go poof. The switch between dresses is what's glitching out still, which I feel like is also a bit of an issue. Okay, you know what? It didn't glitch there. For whatever reason, it gl just glitches the first time and then it's kind of okay, I guess? Nikki, are okay everywhere. my ping is very high i will say that it keeps going back and forth Why? between being very high and not but it's like a weird mix of being smooth and not i feel like maybe the tutorial is also kind of not helping that so then we have the floating thing use the, the shadow beneath nikki to gauge her landing spot okay yeah that's the same that's the same as before i do think using a shadow to gauge landing spot probably needs some sort of accessibility setting for that and i do keep nitpicking but it's because the nikki franchise is this is their first open world game, obviously, because uh, Love and Deep Space isn't fully open world, even though it's not technically Nikki franchise. It's still the same company, it, but 
there's just certain like the audience for a game like Infinity Nikki is much wider. Not to say that like oh kids are gonna play it, but like it's a, more of a cozy game. You know, love it, Nikki, Shining Nikki. They're cozy games. I consider them cozy games. That's why I love them so much. Not Shiny Nikki because I haven't played it, but I know if I played it, I would like it. So I feel like I feel ah you know you know do I have to explain myself probably, but I'm not going to. So then yeah, because the shadow's very faint on the ground there, and some people are not gonna be able to see that, especially like on certain like darker flooring. You might not be able to see that at all. So I do think they might need a better system for that. But I mean, it's not super pressing. I, don't think you're I just feel like being picky today because uh, I'm mildly bad. angry. <laughs> this place is way more fun. I just feel like being picky. I have a little bit of hater energy today, you know? It's not related to, to Nikki or anything. It's actually related to South by Southwest. We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> You might be thinking, isn't South by Southwest and not for another like six months? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. Anyways, I'm already planning my events for next year. And I, by happenstance, South by Southwest came up. All right, approach the seal and right click. Oh, yeah. Cutscenes, are they working? Are they working? I feel like my model is glitchy a little bit and the lighting is a bit goofy in this, but this is still leaps and bounds better than the last play test. I will be fully transparent about that. Like, we can actually play the game this time. <laughs> I don't remember if they had the w full widescreen, like they added the cinema bars um, for the cutscenes in the last time, but I feel like it works really well here. Ina? It's Ina in English? She's still so pretty, though. If evil, why pretty? Answer my question. <laughs> Dude, is she evil, though? Questions. To a close. I love the English voice actress they got for her, though. It's like perfect. Chose now I do feel like I might know who it is, and perfect, perfect it's choice. I'm not gonna say it though. We don't do that here. We can speculate as much as we want, but we're not gonna vi visually, no, verbally or visually, because no, we're not gonna we're not gonna type it on Twitter either. We're not gonna do that. Until the game announces it officially. Days. I do think so. The choices so far for all the English voice acting has been done very well. Which, you know what? Not to bring up Love and Deep Space again, but they also did a really good job with the English voice casting for Love and Deep Space as well. So I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that this is good. Wasted. <laughs> Not yet. Now. <laughs> A warm and courageous heart. It's like she's giving evil vibes, Ina, but like I'm not sure if she is. Right? Except We're not sure yet. From Ina, the curator. The I'm gonna be so honest. I thought it was creator, not curator. <laughs> all the out. This is such a cool scene where it cycles through all the outfits. I love that. Still, it's even better when my PC isn't glitching out. Oh, the subtitles went away. The Not my subtitles. <laughs> I can't. I can't hear without my subtitles. To save this world. Ah. There she goes. Yeah, that you need to have that sub the subtitles proper. Bum bum. You need proper subtitles. I will be picky on subtitles. You you need proper subtitles, which is weird because they were fine last time we had full subtitling when it was the Chinese VA. Oh, that didn't render in properly. Uh, didn't render in properly because it was supposed to load this. All right, understandable. Is it perfect yet? No, but it's again. This is the last time I'm gonna say it. I swear. Still leaps and bounds better than last time. Dreaming. Not no. <laughs> Unfortunately. We got isekai again. <laughs> we got isekai within our isekai. We're stuck. <laughs> Momo's little sound effects, like the co like comedic little. <laughs> I love Momo. <laughs> I need, need, need to attend an event that... Uh, I keep wanting to call it Love Nikki today for some reason. I need to go to an event that Infinity Nikki has a booth at. I, I need a plush Momo. I just, I need it to happen. They probably, it probably exists already, right? 
Momo's been around. A graduation trip. <laughs> graduation this trip. Honk, I enjoy is how we feel it. Something graduation so trip. <laughs> We've been here for five minutes, Momo. With the eye patch. She must have sent us for a reason. We don't know that reason yet, though. <laughs> You're right. Let's get out of here and look around. I feel like these. I feel like some of the animation for the cutscenes is new as well. Here you go, Nikki. You're back there. The shadow quality is really bad. We're not going to pay attention to that, but I, it's because I put it on low settings. Hopefully, by the time this game officially releases, I will have a better setup. So we have our backpack that's loaded with hope. My wristbands are getting in the way again. This is really annoying, by the way. If you thought my sleeve getting stuck under my mouse was annoying, the, the DreamHack wristbands that I can't get off are worse. Like, if we don't have the spoken tutorial tips that are overstimulating me this time, this time it's my, my wristbands that I can't get off. I'm so serious in the fact that I can't get them off, though. Pretty? Oh, I have to do the backpack. Oh, because we have... There's the backpack. Save. Can I do... Because they have some extra stuff in here, I think. Okay. Oh, we have extra stuff! Pretty. I like the pigtails more. The pigtails are so cute. So we only have one dress. We only have that one clothing item, but we have different socks. Ooh, I'm going to keep those ones. Oh, pretty. Oh, we have extra height with these shoes. Oh, actually, you know what? I am going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to switch it up just a little bit. Oh, that's so pretty. That's so cool that your height changes with the shoes. I love it. I love it. I love it. How oh, cute. There's our backpack. Makeup. Did we have makeup last time? <gasps> guys i'm gonna be such a menace when we get like actual makeup it's gonna be ridiculous oh they've added new skin tone okay i definitely think they probably need more options at launch because three is definitely not enough there's so many different skin tones but like i guess it's kind of a start they didn't have this before and i really like that especially that it's like a free thing you're given right off the bat because paying for skin tones in a game is really weird but <laughs> this is really cool i'm really happy with that all right oh i hit makeup there i meant to just be looking here okay wow so that's like the accessories menu i'm so impressed i'm so impressed ah oh, infold you've outdone yourself what and Momo gets a wardrobe. <laughs> I don't have a cl any cloaks for Momo yet, but that's so cute. Oh, the lighting is kind of goofy as well, but ah, this is so fun again. Something Leave the unfamiliar ruins. That would be the the orb. <laughs> yeah, that's the orb. Mm -hmm. Oof, this lighting. Hold on, I'm turning up bloom. I can't. I can't. I can't. It's way too bright. Glow effect is off now. To divine blessing. The lighting is so goofy. Rejecting it. This is what I get for going on low settings. Hold on. There's some... I have to change something here. Something's cast to give. What if we bump render quality to medium? Will that fix it? No, render quality's not doing it. Scene details? That doesn't take effect anyways. What if shadow and texture? Oh, shadow and texture did it. All right, cool. Great. All right. So if you're having issues, go to... Uh, put everything on low settings. Uh, then turn off motion blur and glow effect because those might still be on. And instead of having it on low, turn shadow and texture to medium. You're solid. This looks so much better now. And you know what? My model, she's still rocking it. So we're good. <laughs> that's the that's the kicker. That is the kicker. So we have, can investigate this. We're stuck. Nikki, oh, we don't have the floating one. We don't have the floating one. That's right. We had the floating out yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have it. We anymore. lost that. Let's Unfortunately. Maybe there's I do, it's in this room though, I'm pretty sure. Either that or we go around and then find it. We do find it here, just so we're I hit two instead of W, by the way. I mean, I haven't used this keyboard in a while. I'm used to a smaller keyboard from traveling. All right, give me a break. What a beautiful star. We must what get the, it? it's our outfit. It's our outfit. Oh, investigate. Can we not move it? Oh, okay. It's a cutscene. I knew that. I totally knew that, I swear. You get your outfit stuff in the cutscene. I love it. Pretty. The orb. <laughs> but it's not the orb. <laughs> the power through me. Wow. A whim star. And that's how we get our outfit. Shard Wishfield. Activate the heart of Infinity Shard Wishfield and infuse it with the power of whim. Ba-bam. 
It's kind of like a skill tree. So we select this node, choir, and that's how we get the floating outfit. We'll do the same for the exorcism outfit in a little bit. And I'm gonna continue to call it the exorcism outfit until I realize what it is. <laughs> so we can continue and then we can return to the game. <laughs> there is some clipping with certain outfit. Oh, We're not <laughs> Nikki's calves are messed up. It's fine. I think it's called a whim star. It's the embodiment. It's not perfect, but it's much better. And inspiration. When it fused with the heart of infinity. I, I don't have much to say. I kind of know this already. Power. It was mysterious and deep. I see <laughs> Little Momo. Heart of infinity. Hm. Then we should focus on collecting more of them along the way. Yeah, you got that's the spirit, Momo. When I received this blessing. I acquired the floating outfit sketch. I do have to say though, I'm taking in more of this information now that it's in English. Right. My brain works in mysterious ways. <laughs> I can float through the air with ease. Oh, that's great, Nikki. Hurry up and make it. I'm just I'm so impressed. The English voice acting is so good. Because I don't think that was the thing. I don't think I'm not sure about Shining Nikki, but I don't think Love Nikki had English. At least when I played it. So why? Alright, so left alt. Boop. We can also press Y, but click here to be begin crafting. That's it. So we have basically like the blueprints or like sketch for these outfits, but we do need to make them ourselves. So we select all quick craft. We have the materials for this one because we need it now, but we will have to go find everything. We will have to go find everything ourselves for the other ones. So quick craft. I love that. I love that they have the quick crafting feature. It makes my life so much easier. I'm going to skip all though. We got the full outfit and that is that. So we do have the outfit now. A mere cabinet can't stand in our way. <laughs> a mere cabinet. Let's go, Momo. And Momo will follow us as well. I do think because the footage they showed from before. It works. Oh, there we go. Wearing this. Okay, Momo doesn't float yet. Momo doesn't float yet. Will you float with me, Momo? No. They Momo floats! Look at Momo floating! <laughs> oh, that's so cute. They showed that off in the Tokyo Game Show footage. Ah, Momo can float. That's so adorable. I love it. Oh, that's so stinking cute. There is also stuff we can read and investigate along the way. Um, I think we will skip those for now, just because we're kind of more focused on the playtest itself and not all fully the lore. But that is something that at release we'll definitely like we'll stop for that stuff, obviously. This place must have been magnificent. But it's basically happened. the stuff here is talking about desolate. what we'll find later, which is the stylus guild. Um, and that's kind of like what goes on. It's like the organization here. Yeah, Stylus Guild. It's like the organization here in Mirrorland. But we'll find that out from an NPC like a little bit down the way. It's pretty, it's pretty. I'm just, I'm getting distracted by the world. Our chests are really pretty. Oop, oop, there we go. We have our little, I think it's currency. I forget. I know they uh, said what it was earlier, but I'm already forgetting. It's the S-Ling. The, the S-Ling. It's a different one from last time, Momo. We better be careful. If only we had that pure oh my gosh, I'm sleepy. It's fine. Let's find two more <laughs> stars, and then let's hope that the heart of infinity helps us with the sketch. All right, let's Nikki. kick it. Look, there's a whim star. There is is that. I think we need two for the next outfit, or we unlock the outfit blueprints with this whim star. Um, and then we have to find the other thing. If I go you, what's you? That's our quest menu. Okay. Let's see, I think it's the customization. Yeah. Okay. So why was you okay we haven't gotten it yet wait what was the skill tree it was i okay wind of purity we need to okay i was right i was right so we need to find another room star is it a shift sprint oh it's a shift sprint hold on controls key bindings i don't think we could do this before quick spoiler alert um if you're new here because it's a play test video so i'm assuming there's gonna be more new people here than not um hello i hate a shift sprint because my hands are weird we're not gonna explain it i've explained it before it, it's weird main ability key is that right can i like switch i shouldn't switch my main ability oh i have to keep the shift sprint also can i change set sensitivity is that something i can do oh it looks like they already are incorporating some accessibility settings we love to see it we love to see it i don't think i can change my sensitivity though unfortunately so that's just something we're gonna have to deal with it's a little bit too sensitive for my liking I can actually help but it's fine hard to find whim stars. like if it was an fps i'd be okay with it being this <laughs> sensitive but it's a little bit too sensitive 
Momo view. Press F to lock onto this wimps. Lock onto Wimstar. It's underground. I know I'm, I'm cutting Momo off a little bit. I'll let you know about any new Wimstars that I find. I'm cutting Momo off a little bit because it won't let me like move around when Momo is talking. <laughs> We're going to need these. So I'm actually going to collect them now. We'll shake the tree. It's a wool fruit. This is something we use to craft outfits because that's the whole point of this area. We also have normal daisies, which I'm just going to grab out the stuff while we're here. And we have button cones. Oh, wait, they're button cones. That's so clever. Is it a pine cones? Oh my God, that is so stinking clever. So now we're going to ground pound. Press Q to suddenly drop and break apart, break apart weirdo objects with power of impact. So we're going to do this like that. It kind of glitched out, but it's fine. It's It's got the spirit. That's our second whim star. Through the ruins. And we should be able to get that second outfit now. Or I guess third outfit, technically. Two whim stars into the heart of infinity and let the magic happen. Yep, Nikki. Can we unlock the outfit now? So we're going to go here, click here, acquire. Boom. Our second outfit. It's the wind of purity outfit. It's the exorcism outfit. That's what I've been calling it. We're going to set that as our goal automatically. I think that's a new feature as well. Wind of purity outfit. Let's go. Time it is time to craft, but I don't think we have... We do have everything we need this time. Okay. I feel like we didn't last time, either that or it skipped ahead in the questing because I grabbed it ahead of time. I'm not entirely sure. So check our wind of purity, select all. Yeah, I think it's because... I think it skipped ahead because I grabbed everything while I was up top because if not, you would have to go back up top and grab it. Okay. So I just skipped ahead a little bit on the quest timeline because I kind of knew I was going to need the stuff, but open world games like this, it's kind of like best practice. One, in my opinion, to interact with everything, which means grabbing everything on the way down. So I think these sort of games, you get the most out of it if you're interacting with everything in the story. So that includes little text pieces. Usually I do interact with those and I will read them aloud as I play, but it's playtest. We don't need to go through all of that. So we're going to skip all again. <laughs> it will take you through the description for every single item, but we really, we, you don't need all of that if you don't feel like you need all of that. At least not in a playtest. I like that they have it here, but we are going to skip some certain things out of the playtest just because we don't necessarily need it right now. How do we get back up here? I think just like this. Yeah, the double jump glide thing is going to be taking me a little bit of time to get used to. Oh, can I toggle my sprint at the very least? I think it was... No, it's, you have to press down on it. That sucks. I, I kind of hate that. There you go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Listen, I hate a shift sprint, but if I can toggle it and continue to sprint, I'll do that. But I don't think you can here, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Pretty. I spaced out for a hot second because I was thinking about how dehydrated I am. I got so dehydrated the entire time I was in Atlanta. I did not drink enough. To be fair, they did not allow outside food or drink. So I couldn't bring in like a reusable water bottle or something. But to be fair to the to be fair, I did have access to the creator lounge where they had water. So it's kind of on me. It's kind of on me at that point. I could have gone in there to get water. These murals are ancient. So Nikki, there we go. See that fancy stained glass window? Huh? I don't see it, Momo. <laughs> now I see it. It's pretty. You'd think it'd be bigger though. Oh, that's uh th that's shards. Those are some shards right there. That this is new. Oh my god, it's the wish system. Oh my god, this was the, that's why it's new. We didn't get this. <laughs> get the gotcha system. All right, I feel like I was saying before, what's the monetization strategy for this game? Like, how are they monetizing this? We got it, baby. And oh, on banner, this butterfly dream outfit that I love so dearly. I love this. They showed this outfit off, not flowing colors, which is also adorable, but Flutter Storm, they showed off in the Tokyo Game Show program. Oh, I loved it so much. It's still so beautiful. So that's the limited one. We will, I will be pulling in that limited, even though it's beta and does not, it's a clean wipe. So any progress I make in this playtest will not be saved to my account. We will be starting over at launch with everybody else. However, I am going to pull for this butterfly outfit because I love it so much. All right. But our permanent outfits, which I'm assuming will stay the same, are fairy tale swan, which is the iconic pink ballet dress. With this outfit, you get the special animations, at least in the outfit customization screen, that are actual ballet moves. And I can say that because I am trained in ballet. So the other one is Blossoming Stars, which is also really pretty. I'm not the craziest about these outfits. If anything, I really like Fairy Tale Swan because it uses those ballet moves and that's something I can resonate with. No, no pun intended, because <laughs> its resonances is our pulls. 
Um, but I, I really like Butterfly Dream so bad. So I'm assuming then, one, that they actually might add more outfits to this permanent banner over time, I would assume, because only having two on here is a little meh, because these are like our standard ones that we'll get if we don't. I would love to read into the actual banner details if in a second. So if we don't get as far as I did in the story last time in this video, it is because we're going to sit down. We're going to look at these banners because that's what I do with every gotcha gameplay test. But do you want to skip it? You can skip it. I don't want to skip it, but I'm just I'm talking about the banners. So choose tied guidance to obtain your desired, desired outfit more quickly. So you basically the best way I can describe this is Genshin Impact's weapons banner where you pick the one you want. I'm curious what the actual system works like. I am going to pick Fairy Tail Swan, obviously, because that's the one I like more. Confirm. Like I like the hair for Blossoming Stars over the hair for Fairy Tail Swan, but I want the animations from Fairy Tail Swan. I believe we can see the outfit previews here, though. So this blossoming star, they call it a glow up. Oh my God. It's kind of just, it has like this floating flower. It's really pretty. It's really nice. And then the other one is fairy tale swan, which you can kind of see those ballet moves. And even down here, you can kind of see she's like on point, which is a ballet term, or at least the best they can do it in heels. I would have loved if they gave her something more ballet shoe like, but I still think this is really pretty. Not my favorite in the game, but it's really pretty. So those are the outfits. There is stats on those, but I don't think too many people, at least the target audience of Nikki franchise enjoyers like myself, we're not playing for stats. Come on. But I like that a lot. So we do we do have a force single pull. Oh, that animation. Oh, it's a really good animation. And it's not super beefy either. Like my PC is OK with that. So we got classic curves. They are shoes. We got one outfit item. But I do want to take a look at these banners if it will let me. I don't think it's going to let me, though, unfortunately. OK, let's check this out. So if I hit N, it's going to open up. Oh, OK, wait. Outfits can evolve, unlocking enhanced abilities. This is new. So we have this outfit. Then then this is the evolution. Oh, it's like a shiny. <laughs> it's like a Pokemon have shinies. It changed the colors. <laughs> shiny. Oh, my gosh. I want to see some of the other ones. Wait, can we see some of the other ones? Outfit not complete. So we have to have owned the outfit to evolve it. It looks like the exorcism outfit doesn't have one, though, just bubbly voyage of the like traditional outfits. Dude, I was trying to open up the poll screen. What are you? I kind of one thing I don't like. They use keyboard keys for the quick navigation on like the menu items. I don't necessarily like that because uh, my microphone is kind of covering my keyboard. So sometimes I like if I don't remember where a key is right off the bat, I'm like, oh, what do I do with that? And you might be thinking, don't don't didn't you learn how to type? I didn't really learn how to type in school. All right. It was past my they don't teach people how to type anymore. It was like the year before me fully learned how to type and then I didn't. I've kind of figured it out because I just do this a lot. But still, I like when they use F1, F2, blah, 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 better. Anyways, I can just do this. Just alt it, alt click it. All right. So let's look at the outfit previews for these outfits. I adore this so much. I said it when we were watching Tokyo Game Show, but I love fantasy gowns and dresses. I think they're so cool. And by fantasy, I don't mean like Bridgerton style, even though those are gorgeous. I mean stuff like this, the butterfly gown. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> stuff like this. To a lesser degree, the ballet outfit in the standard. But this, uh, I also love white hair. So this is also very adorable. I know that this is also going to be a really popular outfit, probably especially with uh, artists, just because obviously it is the artist outfit. It's super cute. I love the hair so much. And I believe you can separate hats and hair. So if I pulled this outfit, like I lose my 50-50 and I get flowing colors instead of this one, Flutterstorm, which I don't know how they're going to do that. I believe you probably have to pick one because if you lose a 50-50, you get a standard, at least in most gacha games. Deep echoes. OK, so you do get rewards for certain attempts. Details. Let's look at the details. So we have the outfits here. And then we have various pieces. This jacket is so nice. Actually, I lied. It's a little bit too long for my liking. This is very cute. This first day jogging. I believe this this skirt I like. And then we have other stuff like this. Oh, I love this this combination, this bracelet combination here. This hair is fun. I like this. This is so adorable. Yeah, the hair is separate, which is so cute. I love the hair. So the not standard banner, the limited banner, it's a limited time resonance event. Stylists can use revelation crystals to obtain clothing pieces. Every 10 draws guarantees at least one four star, which is very common. Every 10 pull, you'll get at least one four star, if not more or higher. So every 10 pull, you'll get something. 
what I'm curious about is that I think you have to pull every single piece of the outfit. And I believe you do. But a maximum of 180 draws guarantees the complete five star outfit. So I'll have to see in a second. You can draw up to 9,999 times per day and the limit resets daily at 4 a.m. I do like that they put in a limit, but honestly, I would appreciate if they actually lowered this at, by quite a bit. Just because if we're talking about like predatory monetization strategies in live service games, I feel like this is a start to kind of curb that because some people will go crazy. But I feel like that limit does need to be lowered, quite frankly, especially because earlier I said I wasn't talking about kids being part of the audience for this game, but obviously it is going to be, and I feel like that should be lowered just for safety reasons when you have a game that you know kids are going to be playing. Like, I played this as a teenager. Like, not this. I played Love Nikki as a, as a teenager, and I, did, I was a teenager. Did I have my own money when I was a teenager? Yeah, but still. So what about our probability? The base probability of obtaining a five-star piece is 1.5 with a consolidated probability of 6.06. .06. A five-star piece is guaranteed within 20 draws, which that I like, which because I was concerned when I was like, oh, you have to pull every single piece. But I feel like this is okay because every two 10 pulls, essentially, you'll get a, at least a five-star piece. So it's going to be a little bit easier to hopefully, hopefully it's going to be a little bit easier to build that outfit than if you had to do like to 70 or 50 or like, like other gotcha games do. You do have to change around how you do a gotcha system in a, in a Nikki game because you need every piece. If you want the full outfit, you need every piece, obviously. And you don't need every piece. You don't need the full outfit. Like I would go like an outfit like the flowing colors. I think that's what it was called. The artist outfit. I just want the hair, really. So the hat's cute, but I really just want the hair, you know. But also you if you want just one piece of the outfit, you then have to continuously pull until you get that one piece. And it might just so happen that it takes the 180 to get to. So I think... Like how in other gacha games, it's like, don't pull on the standard banner. Don't pull on the limited banner character if you don't want them. Like if you're trying to lose your 50-50, don't do that. That's stupid. You ask for it if you get the five star that's limited then, like that sort of thing. If you don't want the full outfit, I would say don't pull for it. If you just want one piece, because it could start getting dicey because you could use a lot of pulls just to get one piece of an outfit, you know? The base probability of obtaining a four star piece is 3.29% with a consolidated probability of 11.5. A four star or higher piece is guaranteed within 10 draws, so every 10 pull. The overall probability of obtaining three star pieces is, is 82.44%, unfortunately. When you obtain a five star piece, it is guaranteed it will not be one you have already, which is great. That's so great. When obtaining a duplicate five-star piece, you will receive an additional 10 surging ebbs. I'm assuming this duplicate is if you continue to pull on the limited banner, you'll get duplicate the ebbs instead, which is obviously going to be a shop currency. We haven't even gotten to the shop yet. Four-star pieces will give four, and then three-star pieces will give 10 tranquility droplets, which is going to be, I'm assuming, a different currency in the shop. The permanent banner... Wait, what, wait, wait, wait. There was some one thing I didn't get from the limited banner. I guess you're confirmed to get the five star pieces from either two outfits you're not going to like technically lose a 50 50 sort of thing it's just that the banner works a little bit differently here which doesn't surprise me because i have played some of the nikki games before obviously but also the banners work differently in love and deep space too so like infold kind of gets their banners they get a they get a banner they get it well here though if we look at our details it's a little bit different you still get a five star piece on the standard every 20 draws a four star every 10 but same sort of thing with like the limit for how many times a day you can pull. There's special resonance features though, which is the title guidance. So with title guidance, you can choose one of the two five-star outfits from the distant sea as your target for the upcoming resonance. Each selection requires one attempt. Once confirmed, if you obtain a five-star piece, it'll be from the selected outfit until the collection is complete. So you won't get from the other one, which I do think over time, they are going to need to add outfits to the standard for that specific reason, because people are just going to stop pulling on standard. If you wish to cancel, click the give up button. After canceling, the probability boost for the selected outfit will end and the title guidance attempt will not be refunded, so choose carefully. I would say just cancel it when that title guidance count or whatever, however it works, is at zero. Don't cancel it beforehand. I'm serious. Don't do it. However, this also has the new piece guarantee that when you obtain a five-star piece, it will be one you don't already have. Both mechanisms are independent and can be active simultaneously. So, not bad, not bad. I do think they need to add more outfits over time, though. We have some other outfits here. Title Shark Mirage, which is super cute. So these are going to be like some of the four star ones, it looks like. Sweet Jazz Knights as well is a four star one. I'm assuming they'll, again, probably add more four star outfits over time. And then we have the singular pieces that are the same as the limited banner. So that being said, let's take a look at the shop. It is not available in this 
the version of the game, so we can't actually try that. But we do have a shop for surging ebbs, which there does look like there's outfit pieces or not necessarily outfit pieces, but it looks like it is materials to make outfits. Tranquility droplets that are gonna, that's so cute by the way, are gonna be the same sort of thing, but it's just a different currency. This is the one where we monthly can buy a certain amount. I believe the amount of celerate you get from actual actually spending money is about standard for most gacha games and then this is going to be like your monthly 30 days thing where you can if you pay like five bucks a dollar whatever you can claim for a certain amount of time oh sweet bliss pack we, that's free confirm <laughs> that's free free real estate baby all right so that's our store it's taken me like at least 20 minutes half an hour to go through all of that but we had to go through it because that was new to this playtest. consumables can be used from the backpack restores a small amount of health equip Oh, wait, how do I equip? Oh, recovery nectar, slowing nectar. Clicks. I'm going to equip that as well. Then what about you? Small amount of health over a short period of time. Restores a small amount of health. I'm going to equip all three. Why not? Why not? So we have the equipable thing. So then if we hit Z, it uses it. Okay. I'm not going to use it right now because I'm full on hearts. The switch button to select another slot. But they're both Z, so... I guess you have to alt that. I feel like they haven't necessarily gotten down the controls on PC yet because like you have to alt click a lot of things. I think they're really optimizing this for like iPhone, iPad, mobile devices with touch screens. I don't think it's properly, what's the word? I don't think it's properly optimized for PC controls yet or for that matter, console controls is probably as well. Now back to the actual game though. <laughs> Now that we've kind of yapped a lot, this video is much more yappy than pre the previous Infinity Nikki video. But we had to do it. We had to talk about the logistics of the gacha game. All right, that's what we do here. Press Q to simultaneously purify multiple Esselings that are within range. No shot. So Q, ground pound, baby. <laughs> I didn't see that at all. Oh, I love her English voice. I do. She's a bit quiet, but I love her English voice. That's so all. fun. Really? <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Dada. Was that really her name that before? Dada. Okay. For any wishfield stylist questions, <laughs> I'm your girl. She's cute. Again, I such a good friend. English voice yeah. acting choice. <laughs> such a cutie pie. Momo is a cutie. Um, <clears throat> you're a stylist, but you're not from around here. We don't even know what a stylist uh, is. What's a stylist? <laughs> See? You seriously don't know? <laughs> the short answer is, stylists use whim to style and can craft clothes anytime, anywhere. I can do all that, and also... I don't know what to say again. <laughs> you must be an awesome stylist. Well, even skilled stylists need to be careful, especially now. Yeah, Which it's bad. A mysterious coma incident. Coma incident. Actually, I think we're almost caught up with where I was before. The only unusual thing is the sudden increase. Okay. All right. I think it's because I knew to grab the stuff. Like I knew certain things. Oh, hang on. Huh? Why is it quacking? This? It's a limb tech assistant created by the stylist. They need to make a like an iPad case as like Every stylist official. With Parapal. Styling is perfect. That's what they Isn't Parapal the Discord role for the She's bot? She works for the floor with stylist skill too. There's a bot in the Discord that like sends out announcement notifications, and it, for the longest time, I would like unsubscribe to it because I was getting too many, and it kept sending me stuff. The cabinet. I need to go back. Baby is calling. I gotta run. <laughs> Nikki, remember to find me at the floor with stylist guild. You can register and get your Parapal. I don't know if we'll get there to the stylist okay. guild today, but. I do want to play more. I do want to play more. I don't think I'm going to be able to play more tonight because I do have to edit this video because I have nothing pre-recorded. But because I have nothing pre-recorded, I can kind of go crazy with the play test. So there will be a lot of Infinity Nikki videos. Uh, just not tonight because I need to edit this a little bit. This, But this patch can be used to craft clothes or item. That's what we got from the Esselings. So we leave the unfamiliar ruins. We open the doors. I love Elden Ring. <laughs> But it is, it's not fully open world. There is like scenes to go between it. And, and honestly, I feel like that's fine. I'm okay with loading screens. If it makes the game run better, I am. I don't like getting stuck in a loading screen, but I don't, I don't think anyone does. If it makes the game smaller in terms of the world or allows for the world to be bigger because you do that, then okay. God, we did so much yapping. If my game crashes, 
out. The video is over. We're getting to the point where I'm going to go check Twitter on my phone. I lied. I'm checking my email. It's not Twitter. It's my email. Now I'm checking Twitter. I've been stuck on 16% for a while. That's a bit concerning. I've had so many nice things to say about this game so far today. Guys, it crashed. It just crashed. All right, let's start the game back up. <laughs> the game crashed. We were doing so well. We were doing so well. It's making me log back in. What the heck? Oh, no, I fixed it. Oh, I'm getting hot fixes. All right, that makes sense. They're hot fixing it. I should probably turn notifications back on um, in my Discord for this game because I turned them off uh, after the play last play just ended because I just was getting too many, but it's going to get goofy for a little bit. My CPU is spiking, but it's because it's, it's compiling shaders. Actually, I can probably turn my screen back on. Hold on. Because I'm logged in now, so I can't dox myself anymore. I'm just vibing out to the music. It's better than going on Twitter. All right. Are we fixed? They did just send out a hot fix, so... We enter mirror land and let's see where it throws me in. Not really sure. I'd want to at least in this video get to where I was last time, um, which it did take me shorter to get there. Like I said, uh, I just was yapping a lot. <laughs> we did have one crash. We did have one crash, which that is a concern um, because if a game crashes at a point like that, a lot of people are just going to give up. If I was having more issues today, um, I probably would have given up, but also I don't want to edit. So <laughs> if I extend the runtime of this video, I'm going to regret it when I go to edit, but at least I can say I'm doing something. If it crashes again, though, it's over. It's over, and I don't know if we will be back during this playtest, unfortunately. Because <laughs> anytime I run into an issue like that where it's, like, mildly unplayable, I'm just like, okay, we'll wait. We'll give it a full chance later on when it's in a better build state. Guys, it's not letting me out of the strange building. <laughs> don't make me go back on Twitter while I wait. <laughs> I need to get, like, a book. I have so many books, but I need to like pick a book and put it on my desk and be like, okay, this is the book we read when we get stuck in a loading screen. I could read something on my phone. AO3 is right there. Guys, it crashed again. It won't let me out. It won't let me out. <laughs> let me out. Hold on, I'm opening Discord. I'm going to see if anyone else has had this issue because I can't be the only one. I will say it now, though. I am running this off of not my main hard drive in my PC. And they do recommend running it off your main and not a uh, spare side one. So it's partially probably on me again, and because that's what I was doing last playtest. But I don't have enough room on my main hard drive to have this game run properly. So I had to put it on one of my backups. Uh, so yeah, can't find this game. I have too many servers. There we go. Do they have... Would it be... Are they calling it a beta test? Yes. Game help. Is anyone else crashing out? Some people are getting to that final cut. I want to see the cutscene. Oh, apparently some dresses are like crashing out the entire game. That's not fun. Ooh, and the the uh, extras, the new skin tones they added apparently don't work properly either. Like they work for the body, but not the head and neck. That's 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 tricky. That 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 they should fix that immediately. Phones are not running this thing properly. Okay, other people were having the launcher issue. Okay, so if you go, okay, here's how you do it officially i'm just reading it off discord because my i don't know the thing you go to file explorer this pc program files the 86 version the file for infinity nikki which uh infinity nikki oversee I, I read it right this time and then launcher but launcher is is spelled incorrectly so i actually was noticing that because there's a pop-up when you first open the game um for the first time before logging in when but that was that was goofed oh i don't know what to do because all the stuff in here is about like crashing at different times. And there's definitely people who have gotten farther than I have. I'm going to try one more time to get in the game. And if we can't get in properly, then that's it. It's over. Which is really unfortunate because I, like after playing it a little bit, I was very excited because it's it's running so much better than it did last time. But now I I could get past this, this section last time. So I don't know what's up. It says it's acquiring version details and starting a hot fix again. I don't know, man. I can open it back up though. I don't know what the issue is. I do not. This entire video has just been that meme of it's so over. We're so back and it goes up and down. That's the entire video, <laughs> quite frankly. And you know what? That meme ends at it's so over. So I mean, that might be where we're at, Dick. Every time I've logged in, it's had to compile my shaders. Thinking of the story, though, I just thought of this. I wonder if we'll ever like get out of Mirrorland because we did get isekai into Mirrorland. Is the end of the game us getting booted out? Like, that's kind of sad as well, because, like, obviously that's going to be, like, a couple years down the road. And we think, think of it all, think about it. All these years we spend in Mirrorland, and then we get booted out, and it's like no time has gone by in the real world, and we're just, we can never go back to Mirrorland. That's sad. That's really sad.
All right, let's see if it'll let me in this time. I think last time it went all the way to 99% and then booted me out. So uh, I, I, I don't have much hope right now because it got this far last time. First, it was went to 16% and booted me. Then it was 99%. We might be getting booted at 38% this time. Like, what the heck? Yeah, I think we're gonna get booted at 38 because the little loading thing froze as well. It's only getting worse. That's unfortunate because right after this is where we get to see the cute little like, that's it, they said the thing, they show the name of the game cutscene. And it's a cute cutscene. And last time it glitched out for me and I was looking forward to being able to watch it like in all its glory this time. And I can't, we can't do that because I am stuck in the void between the strange building and touching grass. Like graphically, it's weird because graphically the game is doing so much better than it did last time, which is so great because it's such a beautiful game. I'm so happy I can actually play it without having as many glitches. But like this, this is technically a graphically like function mechanics thing in the same vein as like the, the game running. Ah, uh, unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. I'm going to let it crash out and then we'll go from there. I could finish the video right here. I think we'll just do that while I'm stuck here. Anyways, unfortunately, that is going to be it for the end of this video. I would have loved for it to go on a bit longer, but can't really do that if I am stuck in a void. I'll give it a try maybe a couple of days from now again, because um, that's the thing. I said that last time in the previous beta, but I actually ended up... Yep, there it goes. I actually ended up not logging in again that time because um, my game did kind of break this time this one however um i mean if i i can't get past this i might try to at a later date because if i can get it to run at a later date then we'll do that like a couple they might do a fix for it because this is day one it's only been open for a couple of hours at most i'm sitting here trying to pull off one of my um dream hack wristbands because it's getting too tight and it's really bothering me but i don't want to cut them because they're really nice and i want to memories you know but i can't i can't get them off anyways i'm overstimulated. <laughs> anyways my goal and plan is probably to try again in a few days because I didn't try again with the Infinity Nikki beta the first time because the beta was quite short. This beta is much longer. It's a couple of weeks. Um, so we'll come back in a few days, see if it runs then. But I think the game is in a much better state than last time. It's just a little unfortunate that... We'll give, I'll let it load in. I'll let it load while we do this. It's just a little unfortunate that... I have gotten stuck here and can't get past it. Let's see if it'll get past 38 this time. I know, it, okay, see now it's stuck at 29. It keeps going down. <laughs> it keeps getting worse. Uh, so we gotta end the video. That's it. We tried our best, but we did not succeed today. We'll try again in a few days. Hopefully they'll push an update and it'll work better. But until then, that is it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below as well as subscribe for more and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I'm not giving up on this game, so there will be more Infinity Nikki videos, just not today or soon. I'm gonna give it a couple of days. And as always, I hope everyone had is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world. And I hope you're enjoying Mirrorland if you can. And I'll see you all in my next video. Man, I can't even close the window. It won't let me close it. It's just stuck. What the heck? Bye for real now. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this. Because I don't want a cutscene to start and then we all miss it. Bye bye <laughs>